Hey guys, Yvonne here. And in this video, I wanna show you how to set up conversion tracking with LinkedIn ads as we're approaching 2023. Conversion tracking is absolutely important. I cannot stress enough. Just like you can't hit what you can't see, you also can't optimize and improve what you can't track. So in this video, I'm gonna go over as detailed as possible, but also as quickly as possible to show you how you guys can set up conversion tracking with LinkedIn ads, all right? So we're gonna get straight into it. Before we do, guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell icon so you get notified when I release more videos like this showing you different tips, tricks, techniques for making money online, all right? So we're gonna get into it. I do assume, by the way, that you guys already created a LinkedIn account and maybe you have a campaign or two. If you haven't, click on the card in the bottom right of this video. There's gonna be a little circle coming in and just follow along that video to see exactly how to set up your LinkedIn ads so that you will see a page that looks something like this once you're done. So to set up the actual conversions, guys, we're gonna click on analyze over here. And the first thing we have to do is set up this thing called insight tag. Insight tag is what will allow LinkedIn ads to communicate with your uh, website or page builder. In our case, we're going to be using lead pages, which is a great tool. It's going to allow you to very quickly and effortlessly create your own landing pages that look as simple as this with the click of a button. Super easy. If you guys head over to go.evonmana.com slash lead pages, you should get your own 14 day free trial and then a seven day money back guarantee after the trial, okay? So we have to add this insight code on the pages. So what we're going to do is copy this code. We're going to go back in here to lead pages. We're gonna click on edit. And if you have the capability to add the code on every single page of your site with one button, do that. With lead pages, we're gonna to have to go to each page individually. So I'm gonna click on settings, click on analytics, and we're going to add the code here before the closing body tag. And it even tells you to do it here. It says, put it right above the closing body tag. All right, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna hit save. And regardless of what builder you guys are using, you might be using Unbounce, which is my favorite. You might be using ClickFunnels, might be using WordPress. Basically what you wanna do is look for the section where you can add code to your page. So you're looking for like a JavaScript slash analytics option. If you're not sure, contact support, they'll tell you where that is. And then what you wanna do is look for this option here that says before the closing body tag. Or if you don't have it, just look for something that says body tag or something that says footer. You can put it there as well. And then we're gonna click on update and we're going to go back and we're gonna add it on our thank you page as well because we wanna add this code on every single page of our website. In this case, we have a landing page and then a thank you page. So we're gonna come in here. We're going to, go, going to go into settings again, come back here. We're going to paste the code here. And this is the main insights tag, like I said, that will allow you to, will allow LinkedIn ads to communicate to your website builder in our case, lead pages. And so there you go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back here. And by the way, if you guys are using Google Tag Manager, let me also quickly show you how to do that. So I'm gonna sign into my Google Tag Manager account and I'll show you the super, super easy process of setting up this conversion tracking with Google Tag Manager. All right, so here I am inside my Google Tag Manager account. What you guys are gonna do is click on tags here in the left side. You're going to click on new over here. You can rename it. You can say LinkedIn ads. You can say insights tag. We're gonna choose configuration. We're gonna scroll down and you're going to look for LinkedIn insight right here. It's called the insights tag. Then we're gonna go back to our page. We're going to copy this partner ID, come back here and paste it here. We are going to select the triggering. So we want this to be on all pages. If you don't have all pages selected, you're gonna click on plus sign. Um, and then you're gonna select page view, all pages, okay? But I'm assuming you already have it. I'm assuming you have a little bit of experience with uh, Tag Manager and you have it set up on your website already, um, right? Because that's like the, the basic thing is you need to be able to have this on your site. And then the, your, your tag is gonna be right here. And then you can click on preview to see what it looks like and the tag should be added. Once you click submit, it's gonna be saved and good to go. So what I'm gonna quickly do is just delete this because I already have a LinkedIn ad. I'm gonna delete it and then I'm just gonna close out of this. So we're back where we started. So that's how you install the tag. You can also send it to your developer if for whatever reason you want to. So you can click this button. It's going to automatically send the email with instructions to your email. And then what you guys are going to do is simply forward that email to your developer. Very, very simple, okay? So, but you should know how to do it here, hopefully. Hopefully I showed you how. 
So once you do that, you're good to go. You've installed the insights tag, which by the way, you will also be able to create remarketing audiences with. Let me know in the comments below if you would like me to make a video on how to create remarketing audiences but it's pretty easy. You're just going to click on create audience and then you can say website right here and you'll be able to, because you've already added the insights tag, just enter your website and you'll be able to create a remarketing list for whatever page you want. But we're going to stay true to the topic of the video. And now we're going to go into conversion tracking right here. And by the way, once you set it up and start getting data, you're going to see cool stuff like this. That's going to tell you exactly what niche the people that have done a certain action are in. So in this case, uh, I think for me, this was either page views or people who signed up to my uh, affiliate marketing guide in the past month. And over here, you can see the niches. So this is really cool because then you can retarget them, right? And so what we're gonna do then is click on conversion tracking and we're gonna click on create conversion and online conversion. So we wanna be able to track people who signed up to our on our landing page, right? For whatever it is we're doing. So people are gonna land on this landing page they're going to enter their email and get some free coupon or whatever it is you're giving them. And then we want to track how many people did that. So what we have to do is create this online conversion for our thank you page. So we're going to click on view here and we're going to be using this URL here. So let's go back uh, here. And so here, let's, let, let, let's name it, let's say leads, right? Let's say website leads and let's say, thank you, sign up page, for example, the behavior we want to say leads. This is for your reference. So whatever it is you said here, this is what you're going to be looking for in under your conversions. Okay. So ultimately it doesn't matter is what I'm trying to say. Like you're not, not going to see conversions because you said at billing info, but in fact, this is leads. That's not going to happen. This is just for your reference. So the value of this conversion, people that sign up to get a free stuff, they're not paying you right away. But if you do the math and work backwards, you will be able to figure out what the rough value is of each person that visits your site of each person that can that signs up so on and so forth if you want more details on how the math for that works again let me know in the comments i'll be happy to explain but let's say i i did i, I did the math and i know that every person that signs up is worth roughly five dollars next you have the time frames for when the conversion can be counted so if you have the clicks here for 30 days let's suppose somebody clicks on your ad and they don't buy until 35 days later that will not be counted as a conversion for you because you said the maximum is 30 days, right? So you're saying my ad is basically relevant for only 30 days. That's what you're saying. You can change it to any of these. That's up to you. There's no right answer. I think 30 days is a good default. So if somebody clicks on your ad and they purchase within 29 days, you will see a conversion attributed for your campaign. That's how this works. For the views, it's the same thing, except instead of clicking on your ad, it's when somebody sees your ad. So again, you want to say, how relevant do you want to declare your ad to be? So if somebody sees your ad and then they make a purchase eight days later, do you want that to be counted as a conversion? So over here, you can also change it to these values right here. I think seven days is a healthy value because they haven't committed as much as they have with a click. With a click, they're more committed. So you know that they're probably, they, they probably had more of an intention to buy and your ad probably had more of an effect as opposed to if they simply viewed your ad, okay? That's why this number here is lower, but it doesn't have to be. You can make it 30 days, but I'm, gonna, but I'm gonna keep it seven. And then over here, the attribution model. So we have two options here. So the way this works is, let's suppose you have five campaigns and you have five ads for those five campaigns. If you select last touch each campaign, what happens is, let's suppose a visitor sees your ad and they click on your first ad from the first campaign. Then two days later, they click on your second ad from your second campaign. Then five days later, they click on your other ad from your third campaign and so on and so forth until they hit all five campaigns. If you select this option and a user clicks on every single ad from all of those campaigns that you have, you're going to see a conversion attributed for each of those campaigns. So the benefit of this is that you're able to see the user journey and you're able to say, okay, every single one of these ads contributed to uh, my ultimate conversion. If you select last campaign, same example, let's suppose you have five campaigns with one ad per campaign. If a user clicks on all of those ads, but they click on the last ad and then they make the purchase, only that last ad, that last campaign will be attributed with a conversion. So you will, you might want to set this up if you're saying, okay, all those previous ads were irrelevant because it's the last ad that was the tipping point. 
So if you think like that, then you would want to set it to last campaign. I'm going to leave it at each campaign because I do want to track the entire user journey. But again, there's no right answer for any of these. This is completely up to you. We're going to click on next. Here, we're going to choose which campaigns we want to ultimately attribute the conversions to once all this is set up. We're going to click on next step. We do not have to use the insights tag code again. We've already set it up. Likewise, if you've already used one of these tag managers, you don't have to set it up again. Okay, so this part is done. Don't worry about that. We're going to scroll down and here we have three options for setting up the insights tag. The first one is we're going to enter a website URL that we want to track. So in this case, we're going to enter this website URL, meaning if somebody clicks on a website URL that contains, for example, these values here, so Ivan dot lp pages, blah, 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 and it has the LinkedIn Insights tag code on it, then that's the page that's going to trigger this conversion. Okay, so that's this option here. Event specific is you would be adding code to your button. Uh, this is a bit more tech savvy. I do suggest contacting a developer if you're doing this. I personally have never used something like this, so I can't give you any specific tips or like pointers or suggestions, but basically you would be adding this code to your button. And then if somebody clicks the button, they're going to trigger this code and that's going to trigger this action. Okay. I don't really see a need for this. You, you're totally fine doing page load. It's the safer approach, I think, and it, it works just the same. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. And then lastly, you have this image pixel where you would be taking this code and it's, it's basically an image. As you can see, it's a tiny, tiny image that you can't actually see. So not as you can see, cause it's one by one, it's super, super tiny. And you're going to be adding it to the page you want to track. So in our case, we're going to going to be adding it to the thank you page. If you go this route again, there's no need to do that. We've already added the code that should be sufficient. All we're going to do is go with this page load, enter URL option. So. Over here, we're going to select contains. And what we want to do is we want to say, Hey, which page do you want to trigger this conversion on? And we're going to use this page. So we're going to copy this part here. We don't have to copy HTTPS and whatnot, because sometimes it might show up with it. Sometimes it might show up without, sometimes people will type in www, right? So to play it safe, we're going to do this. And if the URL contains these words, these letters in this order, and it has the insights tag code, we're going to get a conversion. Now let's suppose you want a more. Uh, a more specific audience. So let's suppose you want to target, you want to list as a conversion, people that purchase this product or that sign up here, they sign up somewhere else. They purchase this all together at once. You would be using this and feature. So then you would enter all of the different URLs here. And those are the URLs that would um, result in a conversion being triggered. If all of them, all of the URLs are hit. That's how this works. Alternatively, Let's suppose you have a website with multiple products on it. If you click on here or, and you enter the URL, then as long as somebody buys one product or another or another, you're, you're happy to count that as a conversion. So I'm just telling you all the different options you have, depending on your site, whatever it is you're doing. Okay. So that's how that works. We're going to keep it like this contains that we're going to click on create and that is it. So over here. Here is our conversion tracking event that we've set up. So if we go back into advertise, these were, I think the campaigns that we selected. So once people click on our ads and sign up and get the book, whatever, we're going to see conversions right here. Okay. And then you'll be able to know exactly what contributed to your sales. And over here, if you click on any specific one, you'll be able to see, okay, well, which ad contributed to the most signups, the most leads and so on and so forth. Okay. And so that's the idea guys. Congratulations. Give yourselves a pat on the back. You've uh, successfully set up your conversion code, your conversion event. That's the idea. Like I said, if you guys want a tutorial on remarketing and how to create a remarketing list, because we've already set up the tag, let me know. And I can make a video on that as well. Other than that, I hope you guys found value. If you enjoy this type of content and the way I present material, the way I teach, maybe, uh, the topics that I talk about, feel free to check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Yvonne Mana, where I have almost 500 free videos at this point, guys, of various online marketing videos about a variety of topics, guys, Google ads, Facebook ads, Microsoft ads, tracking tutorials, software tutorial, right? All of these, you know, different reviews, all that stuff. Also definitely check out my website at evonmana.com where I give you guys a free affiliate marketing guide showing you how to make money online. All right. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.